Hi guys, and welcome back to Physics Solution. And today we're solving another important question. So the question goes to us: A thread of mercury of length 20 centimeter is used to trap some air in a capillary tube with uniform cross-sectional area enclosed at one end, with the tube vertical and the open end uppermost. The length of the air column is 15 centimeter. Calculate the length of the air column when the tube is held I horizontally, I I vertical with open end underneath. Take your atmospheric pressure to be equal to 26 centimeter of mercury. Uh, so this is actually a very interesting question, which I love so much. It was very simple. Yeah, it's very simple. So let's quickly run through it and get the solution. Now to solve this question, I will have to draw the picture diagrams of the of the of the tube. Let me start like this. So now for the say the thread of mercury of length, this was part of the capillary tube. Okay, so our capillary tube like this. Is a capillary tube. So the mercury thread, the thread of mercury of length 20 centimeter is used to trap some air in a capillary tube. So the, this is our mercury thread here. This is the mercury thread. Let me just design it so that it should be obvious. So don't mind my design. It's kind of off, right? Okay, so these are, these are our mercury thread, and it's of length 20 centimeter. 20 centimeter, okay. With uniform cross sectional area enclosed at one end, so it's enclosed at this bottom here, it's open here, okay. With the vertical, with the tube vertical, okay, and the open end uppermost, so very good. So, as you can see, my Apparent tube is vertical, it's turned vertically. And this is the open end here is up, uppermost. Can you see? This open end here is uppermost. So I think we are we are okay with that. So our open end is uppermost. And then the now with the with the tube, with the tube vertical and the open end uppermost, we are there. The length of the air column is 15 centimeters. Okay, that's no now remember that. We use this mercury thread here to trap from here to trap some to trap some air, right? So since we use the, this mercury thread here to trap some air, that means we have what we call air here. And they said with the two vertical and the open end uppermost, the length of the air column is 15 centimeter. Therefore, the length of this air column here is 15 centimeter i believe we are good we are following so so we are there now now says calculate the length of the air column when the tube is held i horizontally okay, very good. we are where we were where we want to be so i can create the air column when the tube is held horizontally so let's do that let's say the tube is like this now it's held horizontally now It's the same, hey, I want to, it's, it's still different too. Let me draw it perfectly. So, yes, kind of. Okay, so this is our tube again. This is our making it thread. This is our making it thread. So, is it, it, it is still the same tube where Holding horizontally now. So when you find the calculate the length of the air column when the tube is held, that same tube, when the tube is held horizontally. So the mercury thread is still the same, 20 centimeter. But when you find the length of the air column now, find the length of the air column. And this is the question. Now, the first thing we will do right now. Is to check for where we are having our atmospheric pressure or well, the pressure on the air the pressure on the air in both cases 
And let me label this case. Let me label this A. I label this B. Now, in the case of B, uh, the pressure, you know, we are in this question, we'll be using Boyce's law to solve it because the two things that are that we know about this, the air column is the pressure and the volume. We're not giving anything pertaining to the to its temperature. So we assume the temperature remains constant. That's that's the statement of, of voice law. So we have to get we have to find the pressure and the volume on the curved air in this air column here. That's how we do that. And the pressure on this air, on this curved air here, we equal to and I see this up here is open to the atmosphere, right? And we have what atmospheric pressure acting downward on it. So the pressure, the pressure, the P1, which is the pressure on the curved air here, is equal to the atmospheric pressure. But not just not just that, plus this weight of this height of mercury is also is also sitting on the curved air. So we have to add this height of mercury to the to the what atmospheric pressure because it's also it's also exactly a pressure on the trapped air so let's label this h so you can so our, P, our pressure on the trapped air because of the atmospheric pressure plus the height of mercury so moving on now for our for our v1 the volume of the the volume contained by the trapped air now from the question we're told that the capillary tube is a uniform as a uniform cross-sectional area as a uniform cross-sectional area and if it has a uniform cross-sectional area we assume that the volume is proportional to the length and also volume is proportional to area but since, so we, well, we're not giving area in our question so this will be useful to us but we can use this because we are given length in the question that means that anywhere we see volume we can assume it to be length because the tube is a is a it has a uniform, uniform constructional area so the volume will be proportional to the, to the length so our v1 you can take it to be our l1 now for the second case now case b where the tube is, is held horizontally the pressure on the the pressure on the trapped air will be equal to first of all the atmospheric pressure is acting atmospheric pressure but this mercury thread here is no longer sitting on the trapped air so it's not exerting the pressure on the trapped air therefore the only pressure acting on the trapped air here in the case b is the atmospheric pressure why the volume of the the volume contained by the trap there is equals to the length of the trap there again so and this is all we use to solve this question so let's not go back to our voice though now we state that p1 v1 is equals to p2 v2 but to find our l2 which is which is same as our v2 so v2 equals to P1 V1 over P2. Uh, V2 equals to our uh, P1. From here, our P1 equals to P1 equals to our H, our atmospheric pressure is 76 plus the height of mercury trace is 20. So we have 96 centimeter mercury. So you can. 96 centimeter. Well, let me just remove the. Um, it says multiplied by our V1 is 15. Our P2 is 76. So. So our V2 will be equals to our V2 now will be equals to 96 multiplied by 
15 divided by 76. That's 18. 18.9694. So. Point nine four centimeter cube. So that is that will be our answer. As you can see, this question is a very simple one, it just requires you to be calm and patient with it. So I believe this is clear enough, and you can also go over the video for more clarification. See you again.